guys, welcome to another math video with Heikem Math and Science. This video will go through the practice cat solution, so hopefully it will be a valuable resource in your revision. Alright, so the first question asks us what the value of x is when y equals 0. So we've got a graph here to make it a little bit easier for us, so let's find y equals 0. That's over here, and we're just going to follow the x-axis until we hit the line. So the graph is towards the left, so I'm going to go towards the left, and it's going to hit over here. So x equals 7, x equals negative 7, sorry, when y equals 0. So the value of x when y equals 0 is x equals negative 7. All right, this next question says examine this graph and use the drop down menus to complete the sentence that follows. So it says the horizontal x axis of this graph measures x axis is across, remember that, x is across and y is always vertical. So the horizontal x axis of this graph measures time will be time in here in units of hours. This next one is referring to the y-axis, so that's on the left going up. That will be, it will measure volume, volume of ice cream in units of liters. This next question is a multiple choice question. It asks you to find which image shows a linear graph. So it's definitely not this one. Uh, that doesn't look like a graph to me, so it's going to be one of these two. And remember what linear means, linear means straight line. So which one of these is straight line? It's this one here, so this one will be our linear graph. Our right, next question, the y-axis of the graph below shows the volume of ice cream that has been eaten. What units are used to measure the volume? So that will be over here, volume is here, and we know that the unit is liters, so that will be the answer there. The point graph below displays the current height and age of five members of the Samson family. How old is Augustus in years? So let's find Augustus, he's on the very left here, years is on the x-axis. Let's go down and it says Augustus is two years old, so his age will be two there. Next one here is an example of a linear graph. What units are used to measure the length of a unicorn's horn? So let's have a look where it is. Is it the x or the y? It looks like the y-axis to me. And what units? That will be centimeters. We can see centimeters there. Let's get rid of the circle. So your answer here would be number four centimeters. The grid below represents a screen of a computer. There, was, there is a hilarious photo located at point M. Write down the location of this point using Cartesian coordinates. So remember, it's always x first and then y. And let's have a look for where M is. M is here. The x axis is 2. And the y coordinate is 4. So that will be answered there. 2, 4. The point graph below displays the maximum length and lifespan of four different shark species. Which sp shark species has the longest lifespan? So lifespan is along the x-axis. Let's have a look which one's the furthest to the right. Looks like the white, it looks like the whale shark to me. So that means the whale shark would have the longest lifespan. All right, this next one says calculate the gradient of the line shown on this Cartesian plane. And remember the gradient, or M, is rise over run. So let's select two points on the line. I'm just gonna use um, two whole number points. So let's use this one here and that one here. So this first point would be two negative five and this one would be four one. So how many um, places do we move to the, um, do we move vertically and then across? So our rise would be one, two, three, four, five, six. We went up six places and then we go to the right two places. So it will be 6 over 2, 6 over 2, or 6 divided by 2 gives us, an, gives us an answer of 3. So the gradient of this line, or M, would just be 3. Alright, so graphs have some special features to make them more presentable and easy to understand. Which of these should go at the top of a graph? So have a look at these. There's always a title there, and so your answer here would be title. What is the value of y when x equals x equals 2, so we have our x on the top and y at the bottom, so let's look for x equals 2 here, and our y value will be 6. All right, what, which point is our coordinate 0, negative 5? So x will be 0, and then we go down 5 places, that will be y here. What are the coordinates for the point y? Let's have a look where y is, down there. Um, the x coordinate is 0, and we're going down 5 places, so it'll be 0, negative 5. That's your answer there. This question, a plane is coming in to land at Capaldi Airport. This linear graph shows its path as it drops down to the ground. So the graph is going down from left to right. So to start us off, we already know that it's going to be a negative gradient. And we can see it goes down 2, because we start at 2 and end at 0. So M, or the gradient, it went down 2 places and it went to the right 20 places, because it starts at 0 and ends at 20. 
So it'll be negative two divided by 20. If you simplify that, that gives me negative one over 10. That will be your gradient for this one. You can go a step further and convert that into a decimal. That will be negative 0.1. But either one here will be fine for your answer. All right, what is the value of y when x equals zero? x equals zero is here and y is um, the vertical. So we're gonna go up or down until we hit the line. In this case, the graph is above. So we're gonna go up and looks like y equals three when x equals zero. So that'll be answer there. What is the y-intercept of the line below? So that's when the graph goes across the y-axis, so the vertical line there, and that looks like negative one to me. So the y-intercept would be negative one. Or you can write the full coordinates, that would be zero, negative one. The Cartesian plane below has three points marked on it. Complete this table of values by entering the missing coordinates for each point. So the first one has a y-value of four, that looks like this one here, and the x-value will be zero, so zero will go in here. Next one has an x value of five, that's that dot here, and looks like the y um, coordinate is negative one there. That leaves us with this final point. Our x coordinate here is negative one, and our y coordinate will be negative six. What is the y intercept of this line below? That's where it crosses the y axis again, so that's over here, that'll be three, or the coordinates would be zero, three. Which of these lines has a negative gradient? That will be this one here. Remember, it has a negative gradient if it goes downwards from left to right. So if the tip of the right is lower than the left, that means it has a negative gradient. Write the equation that describes this linear graph. Remember, you first need to find the gradient m and y intercept c. So let's start off by writing the general format of a linear equation, y equals mx plus c. So c is the y-intercept. Y-intercept looks like three there, so we already know um, that the c is three. So we can substitute that in, giving us y equals mx plus three. All right, now let's find the gradient. Remember, we need to pick two points first. I'm gonna pick this one here, the y-intercept, zero, three, and this one here, negative four, two. So how much do we go up and across? We start at two and end at three, so we're going up one place, so that should be one. And we're going to the right, one, two, three, four places. So rise is one and run, uh, run is four. So our gradient will be m would equal one over four. So our equation is, so substitute that into m, one over four x plus three. And if you want to, you could put one over four into the calculator, that will give you y equals 0.25 x plus three. Either one here will be fine as your final answer. The Cartesian plane below has three po points marked on it. Complete the table of values by entering the missing coordinates for each point. So our first one here that we can do has a y um, value of negative three. That will be this one down here because the y is over here. And our x coordinate for that will be two. Um, the one with the x coordinate of six will be this one. The y coordinate for that is five. And that leaves us with this one. x coordinate is negative three. And the y coordinate is zero. The point graph below displays the current height and age of five members of the Samson family. How tall is Lenor in centimeters? Let's find Lenor. She looks like she's 100 centimeters tall, which is on the Y axis there. The point graph below displays the maximum length and lifespan of four different shark species. Which two sharks have the same maximum length? Maximum length is on the Y axis here. Don't get confused with that because max maximum length is there. Um, the maximum length of uh, these two sharks look like they have the same maximum length of six meters. So it'll be the hammerhead and the great white. You might get confused with this part here, but this is lifespan, short fin, mako and hammerhead have the same lifespan, not the same length. Next question, the gradient M of a linear graph is negative 4.5. It's y intercept is, is negative one. So remember the general format of the linear equation is y equals mx plus c. Write the linear equation that matches this graph. All we need to do is substitute the gradient into there and the y intercept into there. That gives us y equals negative 4.5 minus one. It's minus one because that is negative one there. Find the solution to y equals three x minus nine when y equals nine. So we've got a graph to make it a bit easier for us. Find y equals nine, that's up here. Go either left or right until you hit the line graph, the linear graph. In this case, it looks like it's to the right. So when y equals nine, x is going to equal six there. So an answer here, find the solution when um, two y equals three x minus nine when y equals six, that will be x equals six. When y equals nine, sorry, x equals six. Which of these options correctly shows the general form of a linear equation? 
We should know this pretty well by now. That's y equals mx plus c. Yep, so Guy always likes learning about linear graphs apparently. Hopefully you guys do too. Could you please tell him which expression will allow him to calculate the gradient of a line? So remember, gradient m is rise over run. So there we go, it's this one here. Which of these lines has a positive gradient? You guys should be pretty good with this by now. That's this one here. The right point is higher than the left one there. The gradient m of a linear graph is 3.5. Is y-intercept is 1. So our answer will be... Remember, y equals mx plus c. That goes into there. That goes into there. That gives us y equals 3.5x plus 1. Calculate the gradient of the line shown in this Cartesian plane. Just remember, rise over run. Let's pick two points. Let's just pick that one there and that one there. In this case, in this case we went down one place. That's the rise. And we went across once. That's negative 1 over 1. That gives us negative 1. So your gradient here is just negative 1. So that brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully this is helpful for your cat. Um, good luck for your cat tomorrow and I'll see you guys all back in class. Uh -huh.